Uh, so we are going to talk about how to debug uh, applications. Uh, I'm Dr. Xu Jiao Gao. You can also call me Dr. Gao or XJ. I'm from StackWin. I'm a client lead and a cloud engineer at StackWin. So, uh, Toystar has a famous quote uh, said, happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. I think it fits very well with CF and its apps. If everything is working, probably they are similar. If something broke, good luck. Try to figure out what exactly went wrong, right? So in this presentation, I'm going to share with you some common failures and, and also some more tips how to debug it. So from an operator, operator perspective, I put a search here at the top because I suffered from it before. Uh, so, but this go back maybe a couple of years ago. Uh, deploy CF, things just didn't work. Uh, turn, the log will not directly tell you, hey, your search is wrong. So we have to go inside, figure out what exactly the issue. Uh, turns out one of the, comp uh, it, it's the mutual TLS inside the cloud farm. It turns out one of the component is looking for like things like a, a maybe internal DAO, CF, something in the, the sun, but I have the IP there, so, so it didn't work. Um, at this point, I don't remember like super details, but the pain I remember, so I want to share that. Um, but now, life become better because there are credential management thing we use make life easier. Uh, as you can see here, see here uh, Genesis is a tool we build, uh, help you deploy CF, not only CF, also things uh, surrounding it, like a cred credentials management, uh, backup, the restore, monitoring, all that. So, but focus on this credential thing, search or password or what, um, what it brings me is it can help me check if my search are good. And it also have a nice feature like, oh, if, how about if it expire? It can, you can easily renew. And, or if you think, oh, this may not be safe anymore. Oh, talking about safe, that's a vault CRI to, to bring those nice features. Uh, then you can say, oh, rotate search. So anyways, with this tool, uh, my life, become better because I don't have to deal with those issues anymore. It will be taken care of. Talking about that, uh, tomorrow, Charlie Baum actually sitting right there. <laughs> tomorrow, he is going to give a talk on this uh, genesis, like how to deploy CF and the things around it uh, efficiently, how it worked for, for their uh, business, all that. So it's tomorrow, 11.45, uh, it's right before lunch. If you, can, if you came to my talk on runtimes, I'm going to tell the same joke, forgive me. So that's the talk right before lunch. I believe that's a great appetizer for you before that. So please make sure you go to that one. So next one, the top two list is networking. Uh, I guess some of you already say, yeah, I agree. Because there are so many parts, even you don't have full control, right? The proxy setting. And quite often, uh, you know, well, I need to use a proxy for this, but then configure the, the non pro uh, skip the pro proxy may become painful because there is a format, all that, right? Then firewalls, are they allowed to talk? Is it blocked, right? That all cause your CF, your app uh, doesn't work. And the, the, the next two is security group and uh, NICOs. I especially, let's say, take AWS, for example. Wait, I have a security group all open. Why it doesn't work? It should work. Guess what? Check your NICOs. Maybe you, you have something blocked there, right? So those are the lessons we learn over time, like how you use both together to, to control your networking. Uh, the third one is resources. Um, it's very common, actually, some issues are caused because run out of disk, run out of memory. Uh, 
the log will sometimes the log will not tell you that's the issue. You you have to go inside. Oh, uh, DF. Oh, one hundred percent is usage. Something like that, right? Uh, another thing I want to mention is configuration. Like there there are some default config configuration in your deployment. Let's say, for example, PID limit, oh, uh, 10,024, right? Sometimes you, 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 you reach that limit, then things are going wrong. Uh, then you have to tune the parameter, say, allow more, uh, set to zero, actually, allow more. Um, another example I wanted to give is on the database. T take a Postgres, for example. Uh, Things should just work, but somehow it reached a maximal connection number. Uh, the, like, w now we talk about it, it seems uh, simple, but it takes a long time to figure out that that's the issue. Did you guys have similar pain so far? Like, when you? I see some people nod their head, okay. <laughs> I'm not alone. Next one, human mistakes. Uh, <laughs> someone is smiling, so I guess, yeah. Uh, actually, I think this story made from Charlie. Like, today, everything works perfectly. Second morning, I came to work. Huh? Why this doesn't work anymore? There are other teams, maybe change the data store name for you. Certainly, then things will not work for you. Oh, the disk may be gone, you know? Uh, so. Yeah, we have to consider uh, those, in fact, when we run Cloud Foundry. So that's from uh, operator perspective. Uh, what I see, those are the, the common things. Then from uh, developer perception, certainly you have to know your app. Uh, you want to follow the 12-factor uh, rule, right? Uh, then your app size also matters when you push and we work with your code plan on that. Then the build pack, like for certain language, you, you have to like match a certain version. Uh, you may have your customized build pack, all that. So I take an example, uh, I take a Java for app, for example. It's not because I'm expert on it. It's because it's a good example to talk about um, let's say uh, if there's an issue on not enough memory, you, you have to know like how Jaffa apps works. Say so if you say insufficient native memory, uh, so you you will know oh that's for JVM to work. So I need to check the allocation for that part. But sometimes you may see high thread. Uh, you may see oh. High thread count, like the, the threads count uh, over the limit, uh, then you have to set the memory for that through the number of threads um, instead of total memory. So from the CF side, three things we use quite often. Certainly always check the logs, because it will tell you what happened, and check the events, and uh, turn on CF trees to get more details. So when you like operator run, uh, maintain CF, developers use it. Uh, usually these two teams need to talk because more information is provided, more different perspective is communicated, the better. Because for example, the developer may spend a lot of time to debug why this doesn't work, but maybe there is a outage at a system layer, not, not the app itself. If they have that information, they don't have to spend the time to, to dig into this. Then for, for operator, if a developer can provide more information, that's helpful for operator to, to figure out uh, how can help figure out the problem. Um, certainly, I guess, like we, we mentioned, all this networking thing, like a resource allocation, you have to work with a different team, right? Like a communicate more. Uh, sometimes it really helps 
you figure out what's going wrong because you know, oh, they changed the diet. So next, I'm going, uh, going through some common failures quickly. Uh, anyone see this? I believe most people will see this like app staging failure, right? Yeah, I see several people now that they're hide. Another one, build pack. I said build pack, but it's a couldn't download, but sometimes it's a, a network issue, actually. Uh, okay, staging done. Somehow I'm not running afterwards. Timeout. Timeout actually can be like, let's say, I can think of two. Oh, I will talk about two main reasons. Quite often it's networking, right? Maybe it's blocked. Uh, another main reason is the request timeout setting. Let's say you only allow it to wait for a certain time, but it takes longer to process that request. You may want to adjust your timeout. This one looks most painful. Okay, you said we should use logs. We should use CF trace to see more information. How about what it out tells you is unknown error? Sorry, no more unknown. <laughs> um, what we are going to do in this case, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that will help you solve the problem for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, no app logs. I won't get a log, but I even cannot connect to the log server. You told me to look at the logs. What am I supposed to do, right? Correct. Uh, <laughs> so, we have talked about generally all these situations, what may happen, come on, tell us how we deal with this, right? Um, so here is a, a case here, let's see if I can. Oh, okay, good. Uh, you can see, yeah, surprise, I wrote that blog. Um, okay, so, in this, in this blog, uh, this is what I, uh, one of the areas I have, like, I couldn't log, log with, uh, I couldn't connect to the log server, but uh, what I did is I turn on CF trace, then I see uh, it's saying um, the, the do Doppler something. Oh, then I realized I can bounce it to Doppler to see what's going on. Then I run monitor summary, Everything is running. What's going on? Okay, now I can look at the syslogs on, on the Doppler node. And it tells me, okay, out of sync. So, so it gives me information. So it just take, um, so it just take some like time to think uh, how to trace the, the error here, right? Uh, so to see if I can come back to my slides. Hey, good. <laughs> Yeah, so quite often is you use all the techniques together to help you figure out the problem. Um, this one, as I mentioned earlier, unknown error give me fear. I guess that's common human thing. We are afraid of unknown, but it's not that bad. Uh, this one is uh, one of the example how, how we deal with unknown error. Yeah, again, it's me again. Um, so, what I did, when I first see this error, I was like, unknown. No, I want to know it. So, <laughs> sorry, I see someone are smiling, so I want to join that. Um, so, what I did is, if it's unknown, what, what I can do, I can try to understand what this step is doing, right? right? So I can see, okay, in this example, it's doing uploading a build pack, I think. Is that exactly the, oh, I cannot scroll uh, the thing. So, okay, it's uploading something, it said cannot upload the field. Then I know in that step, it's supposed to upload that thing to the blob store, but somehow it failed. This makes me think I need to check things around the blob store. So certainly it took me some time, poke here, poke there. Uh, then, then certainly I will check my blob store. I was using AWS, AWS S3. So I log in, guess what? 
I don't have a bucket there. <laughs> so <laughs> certainly it cannot upload, right? So then I created the bucket, bu bucket then things start rolling again. So the whole, whole point I, I make here is don't be afraid. Try to get more context, know what's going on. There is always a hint. There is always a direction you can try. Then you ah, that. Uh, no. Eh, eh. Okay, cool. Then since we talk about networking is a like big aspect that we have to deal with. There are some uh, tools we, we can take advantage, like a TCP trace, TCP dumpling to see all, all the traffic to examine what exactly went wrong. Then Netcat NC, you can test if this part is open, if it can connect from A to B. And I want to point out this HTTP tracing. Uh, yeah, see, I have so many tabs open. By the way, I'm a computer science doctor, also a type master. That's why I have so many types. Um, so this is from one of my former coworker. Uh, this HTTP trace, uh, somehow I couldn't screw up and down, but feel free to check out the, our blog. You will see more information. But to um, summarize what's going on is, um, see, Cloud Foundry app, uh, log, uh, it doesn't show you the HTTP content for the uh, post or guide. It's, I mean, it's okay for delete, uh, right? But uh, there are situation you want to see what content is sent for post or guide request. It, it doesn't show you, so there is a um, tool we, our team created called Gotcha. It's basically help you set up, you can see all those traffic with content to help you diagonalize what, what went wrong. Cool. Um, another thing I want to mention is certainly take advantage of tools. Let's like say if you run into an issue out of memory or related to Diego cells, uh, you can use CF dot to interactive with your Diego cell, like check the memory percentage, all that. So there's more than, than that. I will not list one by one. Then UAA, uh, you can also use the UAA CLI to interactive with your UAA more to figure out any authentication related issue. So we have talked about um, often from most of the technology perspective. But I personally think the human side is very important when we deal with those issues. Why, why I say that? Because I believe, uh, maybe because I'm a lady, we take care of emotions first, then we can take care of other problems better. So come mind, what I say by that is, when things are going wrong, we, we, may, we may always say, why this doesn't work? It should work. Everything looks good. Why it doesn't work? It should work. It should work. Why it doesn't work, right? But then we, we are in this loop and didn't jump out, jump out to focus on how to figure the problem. Instead, we, we are doing this self-conversation. What, what I adopt is ask different questions instead of, because sometimes I keep thinking this should work. So I ask myself, it's not working. Something must be wrong. Then what is wrong? Then I take a step back. Okay, A, B, C, D, those first things are involved in this problem. I will check each of them, what, what may be wrong. So that, that's the approach I take. Basically step back. I know something is wrong. Uh, I will check each of them. Get a second eye. Come on, I got a first eye, second eye. Why I need a second eye? That's a joke. <laughs> I take a courtesy laugh. Um, so this one, uh, I, I love this one because back to when I was a junior, 
I just started. I was still at school, but I doing the internship. I I hesitated to get help because I'm afraid the people think I'm stupid, right? And uh, they will not. That's just mine. Then also for some introverts, I know there are people. They they would like to figure out the problem themselves. They they don't want to go to ask help. But I found that this is super helpful for multiple reasons. I'm debugging an issue for a couple of hours. I'm stuck. I went to my coworker. I said, "Hi, do you have some time? I'm having an issue." Then he said, "Oh yeah, I solved that issue like last week. It took me five hours to figure it out." Then he told me, "Guess what? Save me three hours. Good because they may deal with same problem, right? Then I can use that three hours, get a cup of tea, go shopping. <laughs> yeah. So I found like there's definitely benefit to get second eye. Also, I have stared at this for hours. I look at everything. They they look the same. They look right. Then when you get a second fresh eye." They so easily observe the difference. Maybe sometimes it's even a small difference. This should be capitalized instead of uncapitalized, right? Then, oh yeah, figure it out. The third one I want to mention is for me,、uh, quite amazing. I have this problem. I go to my coworker. First step, certainly I would describe the problem, right? Then I say, oh, this is this didn't work, and da da da. Guess what? <laughs> They didn't even answer yet. Then I while、well, I'm describing it, I was like, "Oh yeah, I know. I this. I should try this." Then I solved the problem. Then I said, "Thank you so much to help me." I, said, I didn't do anything, but it helped when you try to describe things to others.、Um, <laughs> so how do you find out more? Uh, I found the docs for Cloud Foundry actually is pretty good.、Uh, yeah, quite often, yeah, it's really worth reading. And、uh, even better one, we have blogs. <laughs> what I showed you. So we we will when we enter problems, when we run things, we always use extra time to roll the blogs so other people can benefit from it. Like. One time I wrote a blog. Actually,、uh, I I had an issue. It turns out it's a bug in the release. Then I did a blog. Guess what? Someone in Europe had the same issue. He across my blog. Then I just tell me, said, Hey,、um, there is a lady from Stockholm and wrote a blog and solved this issue.、Uh, then he started describe. I said, Are you talking about me? That, that's how how we know each other. Right, that that's that's actually what motivates me to write more blogs.、Uh, thank you all for being here,、uh, and you are welcome. I know this is the last session, so I was being considerate to keep it not too long. Okay, next Q A. <laughs> Um, if you don't have question, I assume you have too too many questions. You don't know what to ask.、Um, yeah, if no questions, happy dinner, happy evening. <laughs>